Hi everybody, David Zeiser here again today. Hey, we got a pretty neat tutorial again today, and it's going to be a Lightroom tutorial. And it's going to be a little different way of using Lightroom than maybe what, the, than what you're used to. Many of us go into Lightroom, we dive right in, we go ahead and we do a recovery slider or a fill light slider or exposure or color, whatever else it happens to be. And yes, that's good old basic Lightroom. But Lightroom 2, with that adjustment brush and some of its other features, has given us a tremendous amount of added versatility uh, for that piece of software. So what I want to talk with you today is kind of using Lightroom in reverse. Now, do you all remember back in the day when we were using Photoshop, I guess I go back to Photoshop 5, <laughs> finally learned how to use it by about Photoshop 7, but I remember back in the day when we would take a photograph of a bride holding maybe a bright uh, red bouquet of red roses, and we would take that layer, the color layer, jump it to another layer, duplicating it to another layer, then we would desaturate it, then we would add the layer mask, and then we would come in with the black paintbrush and kind of paint the red bouquet back into the photograph. I actually blogged one of these images just a couple weeks ago over at Digital Pro Talk. You can go check it out. But anyway, is there any way that we can do that within Lightroom? Well, I think so, and that's what I want to show you about, or want to sh uh, share with you today. You know, Lightroom sort of builds in its own layer mask along the way, and I'm going to show you how we can use what's kind of sitting there already in Lightroom and kind of get the same result, maybe even a little more quickly than we get it in Photoshop. So this is part one of a two-part tutorial of Lightroom in reverse. So why don't we get right to it and I'll show you what I'm talking about. All right, here's our first image we're going to work on today. Now, I mentioned that you know we're going to be using Lightroom to produce the same technique that we produced uh, many times in Photoshop in years past. I can remember a number of years ago when I photographed this bride's wedding and we produced an album or a photograph in her wedding album that basically was a, a, a totally black and white image and we just brought back the color of the bouquet. And, you know, in Photoshop it's easy to do. You just uh, duplicate the layer, change it to black and white, desaturate it, whatever, add the layer mask, and then uh, punch through the layer mask with your black brush and, of course, you can bring back to color again. That's, that's a whole other tutorial for another day. But let's go ahead and let's do this here in Lightroom. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our nice little adjustment brush right up here. I'm going to click on it. And the first thing I want to do is be sure that I have all of these numbers set to zero at the, the default. You can easily do that. I mean you can go ahead and slide them back and forth here or you can just double click on the name and they will all hit zero. So I'm just going to move through here be sure everything's set to zero. Another thing I want to do too is come down here and flow and I want to take the flow and take it up to 100% and also the density up to 100%. Okay, now I'm going to come back to the print and I've got my little brush right here. So again, just as in Photoshop, I'm going to right bracket to make that brush really, really large because I really want to move through this image and get it to desaturated just as quickly as possible. But what didn't I do? I know you all think that I just made a mistake, but I didn't. Just for the sake of demonstration, I wanted to show that since all these were zero, nothing was going to happen. What I needed to do was take my saturation slider and slide it all the way to the left. Well, the neat thing is here, well, I've already painted it, so it's already done that. But let's go ahead and let's just back out of that just a bit here. Okay, let's start over. We've got everything at zero. Now let's desaturate way over here at 100%. Uh, or minus 100%. These are at uh, flow 100%, densities 100%. Everything else is at zero except saturation. I still have my nice big fat brush here. So now let's just go ahead and just whoosh through the scene, just really, really uh, desaturating the, the entire image right here. And I'm just double checking to be sure that I do get it to black and white. Okay, that's pretty good. That was fairly fast. But now, you know, in Photoshop, we add the layer mask and we punch back through, back through it. But what Lightroom's done, if you think about it, it's actually kind of added kind of a, a, a layer mask to the image already. And, it's, and we kind of know that because we have this other option right over here in Brush under the Erase column right here, which means that I can erase my desaturation and I can do it specifically because of the adjustment brush anywhere on the scene. So I press erase. Notice now that my brush icon or my brush indicator is now minus, which means I can go ahead and, and start painting in just like that. Now you can see I've already got some up here on the bride. I'm bringing back the skin tone uh, right up there and so forth, but that's okay. What I want to do is let's be a little bit more selective. I'm going to hold down the space bar. I'm going to zoom in on my bouquet, and now I'm really going to reduce the size of my brush so I can really come right in here to the edges and just paint right through here and then just put color 
right back in the, uh, the bouquet. So what am I doing? I'm literally erasing my desaturation that I did earlier. And I'm even being a little sloppy here because that's really no big deal. Just coming in here, you know, when, when you got the edges fairly close, you can go ahead and increase the size of the brush again and just kind of come up and kind of clean things up right here. I'm going to hold the space bar key down, come down here. I'm even going to be a little a little sloppy right here. Now the gown is white, so I don't have to worry about my overspray, if I'm going to call it that here. Okay, so just as I inspect the scene, I got everything looking pretty red, but I am a little sloppy here and there. Well, no problem. We were using the A brush. Let's go ahead back to the A brush. It's gigantic. And it's, again, going to desaturate at 100%, but now I'm going to make it quite small. And I'm just going to paint back in my overspray right here. And i got to be careful not to take out the color flowers, so you might have to just adjust the size of your brush ever so slightly. And uh, even though I'm being a little, <laughs> what I call, heavy-handed retouching right here, you can see that even though maybe we're taking the desaturation into this colored area a little bit, it really doesn't show much. So let's come up here. Let's clean this up just a little bit. Let's come up here, and as long as we're pretty close to the edge, we're, we're in pretty good shape here. You know, I guess I could use even a smaller brush, but again, I'm trying not to have this tutorial take uh, half the day here and just show you kind of the, the application of the technique. And I might just kind of come down here. It looks like we got a little bit right here from when I first did it very, very quickly. But, you know, when you look at the whole scene, the whole bouquet here, I think we've done pretty well. I think it's looking pretty good. Let's hold the space bar key down, zoom back out. And there you have it. Let's go ahead and close our brush right here. And that's how you can do selective color uh, within within Lightroom. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's, uh, it's very, very quick. And it's, uh, it's just one more way that we really don't have to go over to Photoshop to do any heavy lifting since we can do so much of the photographic or let's say the, the retouching heavy lifting or image manipulation heavy lifting right here in Lightroom. So there you have it, kind of a nice, easy way of really doing kind of this selective color thing that we've been doing in Photoshop for years. Now we can do it in Lightroom. So I thought I could go ahead and I could go ahead and do a couple more images along the way and so forth. But you know what? You guys and girls got tons of your own images that you can go ahead and play with. So I would go ahead and give it a try. Really easy. I think you'll be surprised how fast it is, how efficient it is for your workflow as well. And you'll think of some more ideas along the way too. But this is just one little door I wanted to open today to just kind of invite you to give it a try. This is part one of our Lightroom in reverse tutorial. We'll get the, uh, part two the next time around. I'm going to use a different set of sliders, different kind of uh, thinking on how to uh, get to where we're going to be next time around. So I hope you'll tune in for that episode as well. So that wraps us for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope to see you again real soon. Thanks, everybody.